hopefully you guys will still call back to us because we'll join back in the Premier League, talk more Arsenal football and talk more just Premier yeah, League football cool. as well. Let the conspiracy theories begin. Hmm. But Lionel Messi has won the World Cup. Good Lord. I was so on edge this whole match. I had palpitations the entire time. Eventually, my wife was sitting next to me and both of us cried when the when Molina finally scored that penalty in the end. Montiel. Montiel. Montiel, sorry. Molina was the... Yeah, but I mean, wow. That was an incredible, incredible game of football, right? Because for, for, for the first 70 minutes odd, we are thinking like for all of the drama that this World Cup has had, this final seems to be going in a pretty sort of boring direction. The 70 minutes were Argentina's, the next... 40 minutes, you could claim where France is. Next uh, uh, one very specific yeah. Frenchman in, in that. Uh, I mean, but, again, he wouldn't <laughs> have been able to do it if there was no team around yeah. it. Uh, but but let's actually first start with that with that France performance, right? What was like, till they got that penalty, they had nothing. They had no skill in the game. Argentina were in complete control. In many ways, you can say Argentina shot themselves in the foot with sort of that uh, you know, laps in play. It was like Netherlands all over again. They didn't really have possession, which was surprising for France. A team that is based on attack and possession. It was surprising to see them not having the ball and chasing shadows and trying to play all these high balls, whereas they have better runners and attackers who can just move the ball within the field. But kudos to Scaloni, man. Smart enough to negate the entire attack. And to force Deschamps into making a gazillion odd substitutions early on in the game. Yeah, I mean, Giroud and Dembele being subbed off like just a few minutes before the end of the first half, that has to hurt as, as a football player, right? That has to, in a final nonetheless. Uh, and then Griezmann eventually came off being very, you know, having basically no effect at that point as well. Scaloni essentially, like you said, nullified three-fourths of that French attack that had done so well throughout this tournament. I mean, Griezmann was the highest chance creator. Giroud was operating at like 0.8 expected goals per game. So really, really running hot. Uh, and obviously Mbappe eventually picked up the golden boot with like a man of the match performance, even though France lost the game. But this match should have ended within the 90, right? Because uh, I don't know, Argentina just don't seem to have the composure to hold on to a lead. I don't know why Scaloni changed tactics when he did. It's like, you're doing well, they you're attacking. Falling back. Just stay right there. Yeah, just stay right there. Stay up the front foot. You're, you've got this game in the in the in the bag. So, but that Especially minute fifty. I thought minute fifty and afterwards they just stopped attacking. Where I mean, if you are letting the opposition build up confidence, which they did not have for the first fifty minutes, you are obviously certain that you are going to concede because it's giving the opposition confidence. And what do you not want to give an opposition? Confidence. Yeah. And secondly, chances. You gave them both and they took all of their chances. Surprisingly, they took all of their chances. Yeah, we will talk more about just, just Mbappe's promise in a second. But I wanted like I want to get your take on because a lot of my friends were really claiming this throughout the entire match. Because a lot of the things that you can say about that French performance was they were lethargic, they were slow, they were not match sharp. And then there was also all these rumors brewing about that, you know, Giroud was ill. Uh, they were half was sick. ill. Couple and Mbele was kind of covering. Sick. Yeah, not Rabio, training. Yeah, Rabio recovering from an illness. Upo Makano recovering from an illness. I want to just not get started. your take on like how 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 much do you buy into that sort of narrative I don't going into buy this into game? Any sort of theory, but I really think that the starting lineup could have been different. Could have played Konate instead of Upo Makano. Honestly, could have played Konate instead of Upo Makano, and I think. He should have shifted Griezmann outright while serving off Dembele and get in your central midfielder like Kamavinga to operate because they were their threats were being nullified. That could have been a different approach. Instead, taking Griezmann and Giroud off did did not really make sense to me. But agreed to take Giroud off was right because they were not creating chances at all. Mm -hmm. And Mbappe once he started operating from the center or left of center is where he actually started contributing. Yeah, and I mean, like, not playing those balls, man, not playing the through balls, not playing simple passes, holding on or th waiting for the ball. Some of these amateur mistakes cost you a lot and they did. Yeah, I mean, they were almost lucky in how, uh, how Argentina almost allowed them into the game because they only had like two really good chances in the 90. 
and they jumped on both of those chances i mean that finish by mbappe for that second goal was just absolutely that's outrageously good and that is a sign of an absolute world class player right when you're out for like 90% of the game and yet you have the confidence to take that kind of a shot on first time and just bury it in the back of the net that was incredible at that point i was convinced that this game is gone cuz and and france were pretty much on top through the rest of that 90 I was convinced that France were on top and they were going to go ahead they were going to win this match. Uh and then of course extra time happened a lot of movement there. It was it was actually a very end to end extra time as well. Lots of chances. Lord help me Lautaro Martinez almost cars Argentina this World Cup man. I mean that guy had more chances than any French player had this entire game more than Mbappe. I mean he could have had his own hat trick today. I have no idea. <laughs> and he's he's a great player. I mean he gets himself in those positions. and then just does not deliver it felt it was so game. frustrating it's the volumes game where you get when you are a good striker you'll you are getting plenty more chances to become a great striker but you're still a good striker that's where lotaro is at right mm-hmm. now he has to bury his chances knowing that he might not get more that's maybe one thing that he might want to think over because for all intents and purposes he has been banging in the numbers in the league but that also meant that he's got as many chances or quite a lot more to like waste a few but on the international stage you don't really get those and lucky for him to not be punished to be very honest yeah i uh, mean this was an incredibly high high quality world cup final right so many goals and just the stats in and of itself both messi and mbappe contributing 10 goals across the world cup mbappe scoring 8 messi scoring 7 and the rest of them being assists for them just ridiculous numbers in all honesty um and france will be very disappointed in how they kind of came out and just you feel like if france were even a little bit more switched on they could have had so much more because if 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 argentina play as well as they can and still end up conceding two goals to a france team that was honestly playing maybe like 60 70% of their of their best less level. than that to be honest less like, than that yeah so it's 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 it has to be heartbreaking for them to be like we could have just pushed it a little bit harder and that's that's something that i've heard a lot of pundits say the whole time right is like even even their their win against morocco where i feel like morocco did a fabulous job a lot of pundits were like well france seemed like they always had another gear to go on to and i feel like that's kind of been their narrative throughout the tournament and we just haven't seen that that fourth gear that france can push into i don't think we've really seen that maybe against denmark in their comeback victory um but i don't think we've really seen that and i i i wonder if that's that's a false narrative that they don't really have that sort of plan b or on a more controversial note whether that's whether they need a change in in the in the management dugout where where deschamps is maybe too conservative to let this french team really go out and you know uh, i think he's the best themselves. coach they've had he's the best coach they've had in like <laughs> eons honestly so letting go of deschamps right now would again be super controversial i'd much rather see him go through another world cup and look at the results and the french squad for all you know is filling up with talent it's oh, yeah. overflowing with talent honestly so it could be a very french squad but we will have some of the regulars and hopefully they do a much better job next time Yeah, I mean, uh, don't have to worry about midfield problems anymore. Kamavinga filled in at left back, but essentially played as a midfielder and had just incredible impact. Uh, again, you have the likes of Thoram who are coming through, uh, Kolemuani who also had an incredible impact on the game. Uh, not to mention a certain William Saliba is still sitting in the wings, hoping for his start. And Konate Upamecano again on the younger side of things. Um, I think the only thing that they really need to kind of keep an eye on is their goalkeeping situation. Uh, I do feel like Lloris should probably hang up his, his boots on the Zero national front at this saves, point. Man. Zero <laughs> penalty saves. Like wearing a Spurs shirt has its problems. As clear as that. You play for Spurs, you your DNA is. <laughs> it's your DNA now. You play for Spurs, it's your DNA. You're about to lose it, and I just think that it's time for them to look at other options and maybe. Okay, he's won the World Cup. you are a champion anyhow so time to gracefully hang up your boots and let younger talent come in yeah i agree and um, as for this argentina side it's sad uh, it's it's good and bad in both ways cuz i this argentina was still helmed so heavily by lionel messi like 
you can argue that you can take Mbappe out of that friend squad and you could he, they would probably still win most of the matches that they won throughout the World Cup. Um, probably not the final, uh, which they didn't win anyway, but you know what I mean. Um, whereas this Argentina team is just very, very heavily reliant on Messi. So with him quite likely bowing out, he might play a Copa, I don't know, but quite likely bowing out. Uh, despite all the young talent that Argentina have, they really do have to reinvent themselves um, without this sort of talismanic figure. The upside to them though is as long as Coloni stays, I think they have, at least in my opinion, at this point in time, the best the best manager of the tournament. Uh, Scaloni has hands down been just incredible with his player management, team management, rotation, getting his moves right. Just he just makes sensible decisions, which which is just what Argentina really needs. So hopefully they can go ahead and push forth with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm just I'm so incredible. <laughs> it's just an incredible World Cup. Caps off a career. And bye, Cristiano. <laughs> Time for you to burn. Football has won. Great World Cup. Super challenging. Super controversial in the sense that how the World Cup was set up and put in place. But I think we have to leave all of that behind right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible final. Thank you so much for joining us to the whole thing. We saw a huge boost in our channel and we saw everybody really enjoying the content that much more through our time uh, talking about the World Cup. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Boxing Day. Bye-bye.